of the politics of the day and how it went down, especially with uh, the tops, it's up next. Having that conversation with a global um, CEO of TikTok so that we can agree on a mechanism to moderate content in their space so that we can reduce the content that is negative and leverage on the monetization that is benefiting a lot more people. The Permanent Presidential Commission Music Commission, we are now going to change it to the Creative Commission of Kenya. We are already working on a creative bill that is going to make sure that the Creative Commission will not only have professional studios in Nairobi, but in every county. One of the best paying uh, content creator is now at seven million shillings every month. KICD, I am looking forward to you reporting to me how much money you have made from all this content in the near future we will not be looking for money from the exchequer to host this great talent. It should be able to run itself. He is okay to appear before the committees, relevant committees, but he has a problem with being oversighted by plenary. Neither the leader of majority nor any member of parliament is here serving at the whim of any cabinet secretary. We are here as a people's representatives to oversight. This house can choose to transact its business in the manner it deems fit. It is not for anybody else to direct it how to go about transacting its business, including the business of inviting people. We did not give them the privilege to walk into this house. They must know they are strangers. Right now, they are strangers, and at best, they can only be witnesses whom we summon from time to time in our own wisdom. I found this letter rather condescending to the institution of parliament, and when a minister says that we are raising issues on hearsay, about hearsays, and say that what we are doing here, we are purporting, we are purporting to do the things that we are doing here. We are purporting. And to allow this witness to write to the speaker, where is even the protocol of writing to the speakers of the houses? Once the chair has given direction on the matter, no minister has any right to give value judgment on that direction. Minister, you will be required to rescind in totality, the contents of that letter tend an apology to the House. May I therefore, with a lot of respect, withdraw that correspondence? I want the minister to share the list of the Kenyan delegation who are purported to be the cheering squad. I am not aware of any joyriders being part of any official delegation accompanying any Kenyan team to any event. Will this house be in order to demand that the CS Honorable Ababu <laughs> resigns because he has painted this country in a very negative manner? There is absolutely no sufficient ground that would cause my resignation because I believe I am performing exemplary well. Our priority for discussion is the escalating cost of living. We are already implementing the programs that will deal with the cost of living. Nothing will come out of those talks is a waste of time. I am telling you as the President of the Republic of Kenya. I said handshake to I said ambassador to Kuna. we can discuss. Kwa sababu kuna majamaa bado wanatuzungusha ati wanatafuta kazi Ati wanatuzungusha ati tuonge Ati ndio kazi ipotekane sijui wapi Ati kazi ya nani Ati kazi ya nani Ati nusumukate sijui nini Meme nataka ni waulize nyinyi 
Mnataka hii mambo ya tuendelee na mambo ya nusu mkate sijui na, na sijui nini. Ah bana hiyo watu nimwambia wakwende kabisa. We have participated fully with SRC to ensure the normal review and increment for all public servants police officers are also not left out. Leo tukitoka hapa we are going to implement this we shall be running the payroll today. Na tungependa kuhakikishia maofisa wetu we are going to ban midnight oil so that we run the payroll and by by the end of this week by Friday they have their salaries in the banks. We have remained clear together with the commissioners that our mission our focus is the police officers and the best we can get. Kwa kila police officer hizo ndio jambo muhimu sana. Kuhakikisha kuna utulivu wananchi wana 